Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I'm your host, Michael, and I'm happy to be joined by a man whose implants have finally healed, one of the hosts of the Figuratively Speaking podcast, and my co-host, Nate. How are you this week, Nate? Yes. Yes, well, I'm back, and I'm I'm pleased to be here, especially since uh, you are allowing me to plug my OnlyFans, so uh, <laughs> we'll be getting that set up at the end of the show. I, yeah, I, I wasn't going to uh, completely reveal what the, the button plants were for, but now everybody knows, and they don't have to stick yeah. around. Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> if you want to hear more about his OnlyFans, you can click ahead in the timestamps to the closing segment of the show. I wouldn't. But... I'd stick around to just before that. Just (laughs) Just, just then bail. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, If you are new to the show, the way it works is we go down through the news that came out this week in the toy world. We do our weekly purchases. Nate destroys us as always. And then we send you on your merry way. So let's get started the same way we do every week. And that is with McFarlane. First, we got new images of the DC multiverse last night on Earth Wonder Woman in Dr. Fate's helmet along with pre-orders on Amazon for the Jokerized Nightwing, John Stewart Green Lantern, and Bizarro. And we also got pre-orders finally for the Entertainment Earth exclusive Unmasked Zack Snyder's Justice League Batman. All three of the Amazon pre-orders are $19.99 each, shipping in April, and Batman is $22.99, shipping in June. Then Target listed a second non-exclusive Unmasked Shriek from Batman Beyond, on their website for $19.99, shipping in July, followed by new images of two Spawn figures, the Mortal Kombat 11 Walmart-exclusive Gold Label Spawn, releasing in April, and the Mortal Kombat 11 Lord Covenant Blue and White Spawn, releasing in June. Keeping with the Mortal Kombat 11 news, though, we also got a new look at the bloody variant of Noob Cybot coming to GameStop this June, And we finally got better looks at the My Hero Academia, 5-inch Midoriya, All Might, and Bakugo. Those will actually be hitting stores this April. And then last but not least, we got an official look at the Warhammer 40k Walmart exclusive Gold Label Blood Angels Primaris Lieutenant due in April as well tons to unpack and you've only been back for five minutes Mm-mm. i i gotta go it's too much <laughs> have a good time you talk about lemon spawn and blue raspberry spawn i i, I gotta go <laughs> i i do feel like Look. at this point it's just becoming like the like ice cream shop of spawns they're like yep. okay well, anything that's not black let's see what colors we can mix together and make into a variant yeah i honestly i think that's I, it's so smart. It's so smart. In fact, I, I was talking to co-host uh, Corey from Figuratively Speaking. I was actually talking to him today. And he was talking about how amazed he was that McFarlane was always using new tooling on mm-hmm. their figures. And they are, but they find really smart ways of reusing those. And oh, it's yeah. those those collector, you know, blue or gold label. I mean, the only person that's buying that blue spawn or, or the lemon spawn is they just love the character or love mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat 11, but it's smart because those reused people will buy them. Oh, McFarlane yeah. has, has always known that those variant collectors are out there, that he can reuse those molds and not like, I don't think, I don't think it pisses people off because if I wanted Shriek and I wanted an unmasked Shriek, I'm going to pony up and buy them both. It, it, yeah. It's what, you know, we don't, we sometimes get extra heads, we sometimes don't, but at the same time, I can't be mad that that's the way he's doing it because it allows him to then reuse a mold, maybe, you know, get an extra buck or two, but that helps invest in even more tooling because he just keeps coming fast and furious. Do you know how many DC figures he released last year? Is there an official tally? I have seen checklists, but I haven't actually counted them, but it's, it's, it's a lot. I feel like he's, I feel like he's rivaling Marvel legends. Just in his DC line. Now, maybe not character selection. So if you're out there, hold on to those comments for a second. (laughs) I don't mean in character selection. We know McFarlane is very based Superman, Batman, with an emphasis on Batman. And and now seemingly Wonder Woman, which is good, too. Mm -hmm. But um, 
at the same time, like there has to have been close to, there was at least 50 figures released in the DC line last year, at least. And with variants and such, I believe we're closer to 75. Mm -hmm. And that's incredible because while McFarlane is a bigger company, it's, it's, it's not Hasbro. It's not uh, Mattel. Although I do think in a few years, it, it It might might be be ahead of Mattel. Yeah. At least in our hearts, it already is. But <laughs> in quality, it's it's. I the just most, I, for the most part, it's, it's farther down the line than Mart- Mattel was. But yeah, I just I, I and I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I, I'm old, so I have a terrible memory anyway. But I'm just so impressed by McFarland. I mean, I've been around since the beginning. I've been buying Spawn figures since that very first Spawn wave when it was Todd Toys. Mm. So glad that that got changed. Oh yeah, that's such but, a terrible name. That's like yeah. <laughs> Like some mom and pop like toy shop. Yeah. I, so, I mean, I, I didn't consistently buy. I dropped off way, way, you know, I, I don't even think I made it to series 10 out of the 40. I think that there were of spawn figures, but he constantly then reinvented himself. And then he was doing sports figures. While it wasn't my thing, he was obviously very successful at it and it was working for him. And now his kind of return to the seven inch. And I think people kind of counted him out. I know I did. Oh, and, yeah. It's just, it's really cool to see, even though I don't buy a lot of these figures, um, just because I, I don't have the space. It's so many. I, I mean, I don't buy all of them. I buy it. Yeah, you, you buy the, the ones that are like, okay, this is a need because where am I going to get yes. that representation again? Kind of. Right, right. I'm definitely, you know, as of right now, I'm just getting the, uh, not to jump around, but I, I, I am getting the exclusive Justice League ones for right now. I'm not pre-ordering the regular ones. I'm sure I'll find those in the store. Mm. They won't be that big of a deal. But the exclusives I'm jumping on as of right now. Yeah. But yeah, I just I'm I'm totally impressed. I didn't even know about these five inch My Hero Academia. Um, interesting scale. I, I guess I'm I'm assuming it's a lower price point, like a nine ninety nine kind of thing. Uh, I think it's supposed to be fifteen ninety nine. There there was no information. Like, okay. Out of all the things, that was the one thing that didn't really have any information on, like, price point or anything like that yet. Um, and there was no pre-orders. But I remember we talked about them, I want to say, last, like, late summer. I think it was, like, right after when Comic-Con should have been, like, in that okay. August to September window. And I remember even back then being like, hmm, 5-inch, that's weird. I wonder why they're moving from the 7-inch. Because those ones, I don't, I don't know how successful they are, but they look really good. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, so I'm and looking at these ones, they definitely seem like a downgrade from the seven inch, not just in size. Like it looks like you get a lot less accessory wise. Right. Quality is, eh, it's it's roughly the same. I mean, obviously when you're going smaller, you're not gonna get as much detail because it probably costs more money to try to make it look more impressive. Right. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like if if they're switching to this and not doing the seven inch anymore, um or trying to slowly move away from the seven inch, uh, then that, that could be a, a bad thing because I can't That's... imagine this will be more successful than the seven inch. If the seven inch, wasn't no, successful. no. And I, I think speaking of counting him out, I think he has to have learned. Cause I don't, I don't know if you were collecting at the time, but when he shifted from the seven inch style and started to do, he did a Godfather figure. Mm-hmm. And I remember being so excited cause it was going to go with my movie maniacs and it was going to be awesome. And it was like, five inches Mm -hmm. and it was a totally different scale and then you know the walking dead figures which were really quality (laughs) figures but at a scale i just didn't care about so i hope he's not i i hope he realizes that six and seven inches where it should be yeah anything below six inch and you should just stop yourself right there words to live by (laughs) uh but yeah so i i hope that that's not like a sign that they're you know going that direction full time because I I can't I I can't imagine this being a a, a huge success. Um, I think it's a test, and we'll we'll see. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, it makes sense because he used what I assume are the three most popular characters. I know at least two of them are two right. of the most popular. Um, yeah. So I, I have to assume that that's the goal. Is okay if we use these big names in the first thing, and it still doesn't do well. Okay, well then we'll we'll we just shit the bed and we'll move right. on. Yeah. Um, yeah, you were talking about the exclusive Justice League figures, like. Mm-hmm. We just last week we were talking about the pre-orders going up for the the rest of the line and how there was like Cyborg at Walmart and uh, who was it at Target? I can't remember now. Superman. Superman. That's right. The, the red, red and blue, blue. Superman. Um, and we were just like, where? Where's Unmasked Batman? Where's Where's shirt? 
uh, dark side. Like, yeah, I, I feel like the shirt one being the exclusive is a weird way to go. I don't, it makes sense because I mean, spoilers, if you haven't watched Zack Snyder's uh, justice league yet, but he spends the, the biggest portion of dark side we see is him shirtless. Like you get that big, like elaborate scene with him there. And then he does show up a few other times in the movie current day where he is in like full armored shirt, like look. So it makes sense that that would be like in their mind, they'd be like, okay, well he has more screen time shirtless. So this should be the one that everyone's going to want versus the other one might be 50, 50. I'm like, no, 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 not in my house. Yeah. Uh, full disclosure. I have not watched it. What? I, I, I know, I know I'm, I'm terrible. I gotta be a hundred percent honest. Um, I, I'm going in ultimately with an open mind, but I never saw the Joss Whedon one. Oh, I right. never bothered. <laughs> yeah, I because the the best anyone could tell me was, eh, it was okay. Yeah, it was. It and was, I, was... I don't want to, I don't want to watch an okay Justice League movie. And I've heard great things. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Man of Steel. Um, I liked the the longer cut of Batman v Superman way more than I did the theatrical version. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't love it, but I liked it i liked it and uh so i wasn't like super amped about a, a Zack snyder justice league to begin with but at the same time i i love that it exists mm-hmm. i love that he got to go back I, I, it shouldn't well i shouldn't say it shouldn't be taken away he did need to take some time away for family reasons so i i don't really know where that where that begins and where yeah, wb it was a very, started it was messing a very with stuff murky thing where they were giving him a hard it time is. trying to push him out the door and then tragedy yep. struck and it kind of just yep was the the yeah. disaster recipe that then became the just like we got yeah so i'm i'm all for that it, it got there i also realized that i apparently didn't sign up for hbo max correctly i signed up through hulu and so like i have all this access to stuff but like i went to go look for well, i don't remember what, what the movie was i think it was i don't know tom and jerry or something stupid like that and i didn't have it I'm wondering I like, how can you I not... just signed up for HBO and not HBO Max? Because I think that it was still... says it says HBO Max, oh. but I I don't know if I'm right. So I'm just, I gotta I gotta cancel that and just do the trial because I want to watch Godzilla this weekend. So oh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, um, yeah. And then I'll probably watch Justice League probably the following week. But you, you need to because I will say yeah. if you if it's a scenario like with Batman v Superman where you saw the theatrical one and then you enjoyed the the extended ultimate edition better that's what this movie is is it yeah it makes all the plot points that felt rushed and like murky and like what's going on makes so much more sense there's so much more character development i mean obviously it's it's a four-hour fucking movie so there should right. be a lot of, of story right. character development but it's done so well that you you unless you're stupid like me and stayed up till midnight to to watch it until 4 a.m for the most part you you don't realize it yeah now did you mind the fact that it was in uh four by three at, aspect ratio? At first I hated it, but after about a half hour, once I got kind of like more and more like immersed in the story, I completely didn't even notice it. Yeah. I I'm all, I mean, I'm all for it. It, it was his intention because it, it was supposed to be IMAX. So mm-hmm. it was supposed to be the much longer. And we've never, we don't really see that in home video presentations of any type, whether it be streaming or, or discs. Um, you, they don't replicate that well. So I, I think that's neat and it was always his intention so like my thing against like back in the day when there was like full screen and widescreen dvds like i hated the full screen because it, it yeah, cut the picture whereas the this off. yeah this is his intention mm-hmm. so all for it. i just wondered if if it bugged you at all at first yeah at first even going into it i'm like motherfucker i hate this blah, right blah. and then like 30 minutes in granted it was also at that point after midnight i didn't even realize it was in that yeah. frame because i was just so focused and into it um yeah, i'm trying to think if there's anything else mcfarland since we've <laughs> gone on this tangent um, yeah I've, we talked about we spawns cover. and the different flavors from yes. baskin robin spawn um yes. and then oh yeah the noob cybot the bloody version oh noob cybot is probably my favorite mortal Kombat character mm-hmm. because i just loved picking him because then the guy on the super nintendo Noob Cybot. I love that. Or no, it's the PlayStation. Because it was Mortal Kombat 3. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. So that was my favorite. And plus I was actually pretty decent with him. So oh, I'm go. all for it. 
But he doesn't look anything like I remember him looking. Oh, in yeah, Mortal all, Kombat all of the Mortal Kombat characters have changed a lot since yeah. the PS2 days. <laughs> yeah. No, they they looked. No, I'm talking even PS1 days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, these characters look totally different. They're great figures, though. I was. Uh, I don't even remember what character it was. And maybe it was Liu Kang I saw in the store. And I was. I loved the figure. I just. I don't have an attachment to those characters. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. Like, they look really cool and. I enjoy Mortal Kombat, but I'm not good at it, so I don't really have a huge attachment. Yeah. But I'm always like, damn, I, I, I kind of want this, and I have to like walk away before I drop 20 bucks yeah. every time I'm at Target or, or GameStop. Well, I, I wouldn't want to know. I mean, he's there's been at least 20 Mortal Kombat figures, if mm-hmm. not more. And there has to be even more, at least oh, there's, 25. There's, there's probably more than that at this point, especially with all From the McFarlane. variants of, uh, of just Well, Sub-Zero I'm, I'm just and... talking just... Oh, you're talking about individual. Just characters. Okay. Individual characters, because yeah. I know, like, Sub-Zero and Scorpion will all use kind of the similar ones, but still, like, just different characters, not even counting variants and, and things like that. So there's a lot of those. McFarlane is just pumping it out. Yeah, it, it just baffles me that he can get these all pumped out so fast while other companies yes. are just like, we, you have to wait a year and a half before you can have that toy. <laughs> Yeah, McFarland's like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll do it like, right now. It'll be like, out in it'll be out next week, six weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's magic. Oh, jeez. Moving on though, so we did get some NECA news. NECA gave oh, us speaking of magic. Oh yeah, man, this <laughs> get, strap in kids. So first yeah. they gave us a few images of the Back to the Future Two Ultimate Doc Brown from 2015. No pre-orders or release dates. It was literally just, here's a couple images, enjoy kind of thing on Twitter and Instagram. However, on much bigger news from NECA, they dropped a late night bombshell with images of the 7-inch Ultimate Gargoyles Goliath figure. Then, due to the overwhelming excitement and reception that they got in social media, they announced that they have five more finished figures planned for the line and Goliath is already up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for $32.99, shipping in July. And my god, I I was sitting here playing games online with Jamar last night, or not Jamar, I think it was Jason, I don't know, someone, and this popped up in my feed, and I just happened to glance over my computer, and I lost my shit. It's huge. I I have waited so long for Gargoyles to just get some, some sort of love again. Like, I... Yeah. Back when Fanboy Fight Club was still a thing, one of the movies I pitched was a live-action Gargoyles movie. And this this is what I imagined in my live-action Gargoyles movie. And it looks absolutely incredible. And I, I can't wait. Now, I, what I love about this, because I it, the reaction that I saw kind of came from people that don't even collect action figures for the most part. Like, mm-hmm. they, they like nerdy stuff, but they don't. You know, they don't really do like the stuff like I do. Yeah. And the reaction that I saw from a lot of them. Now, granted, they're a couple years younger than me. And that's what I started to notice. You know, NECA has done an amazing job exploiting like 80s properties. But some of these 90s ones really haven't gotten the the love that it deserves. Oh. And now, I mean, just just seeing this reaction is huge. Now, me personally, I watched the show. I think it's great. I did not watch it at the time because mm-hmm. I was like 15 by then. And so, like, I was kind of out of it. But my wife was into it. because She's like two years younger. So she was really into it. So she's super excited for it. And, you know, I know you this has just got to be oh, huge. Yeah. So I love it. I love that NECA is expanding even more and doing even cooler like i mean the i we i wasn't on because well you know but <laughs> uh, the the defenders of the earth figures I, I never thought i could get something like that uh i remember i remember being a kid and seeing the original figures in like the sears or best catalog because mm-hmm. yes kids we used to have printed books of pictures of toys we wanted for christmas and i remember just wanting those defenders of the earth and now i finally got them and they're even better than i could have imagined so like this this goliath is is going to be incredible and this is one of the few occasions where i'm i'm kind of excited at the seven inch scale instead of Mm -hmm. six inch because now he'll be even more like imposing on my shelf with my other figures versus like when you do the six inch scale with other things it's very hit or miss on how they scale like properly so no matter right. what, he's going to be massive, and that that so much excitement there. I can't wait to see the rest of the gargoyles because clearly, if they have five others, that that means they're doing the the whole gang. Yeah, the um, team. I, I would love to also get like the the mecha metal 
Goliath too, since I haven't faced off. Well, that's a perfect way. I mean, because if if they're doing the five individual characters, those are all different molds. Mm -hmm. So doing like the different variations, and especially if they do them in those Kenner style packages, like they do for aliens. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a, that should be a no brainer. It allows them to get the molds back out there and it allows, you know, idiots like you and me to go, Oh, well, we have to get these two. I'll I'll buy two of each if they just do the stone versions. Yeah. You give me just a painted textured version. That's just bland. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh, that's, that's three of them right there. I mean, we've, we've already used those molds three times. Yeah. So uh, Randy, send a check. Yeah. Make out they make out the check to this Modern is, Toy Fair News. This is this is two weeks in a row now, Randy. Where where's our special interviews? Where's our, our you know checks in the mail? First we give you all that turtle stuff last week, now we're giving you the entire line for uh gargoyles, so Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll be keep watching in the mail for that check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh for next uh next time show I'll I'll send you the picture of, of the selfie that I took with Randy at, at San Diego. Oh, okay. I think Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, and as much as I'm excited for Gargoyles, I can't neglect Doc Brown because this is literally yes. the Doc Brown I have been saying. If they make this, I will finally buy one of the figures from this line. And God damn it, they made it. <laughs> yep. No, I, I've i liked all of these. I, I was a huge Back to the Future fan. Um, this is something I, I never thought we would see. I mean, just because yeah. no one's ever tried. Michael J. Fox has been, you know, kind of famous for not uh, licensing out his likeness. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, it's working. And I, I hope I, I kind of have a feeling like the money is going towards, you know, Parkinson's research and, and, yeah. and charities. I, at least that's what I hope. Um, so I, 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 I don't know why I'm saying this. I don't know why I need to be apologetic for the fact that I'm super excited that now there's Michael J. Fox action figures. But uh, I love it. And I hope they go deeper. I I still want a 1985 Doc Brown that yeah. could probably reuse a lot of the uh, plutonium suit from the Marty one. So that would be an easy one to do. But I definitely want Back to the Future 3 oh, yeah, Old Western. West versions. Uh, I As time has gone on, I've really liked three more and more. I used to really like two when mm-hmm. I was a kid, but because uh, it's the more, you know, it's, crazy. It's the and, more fun and wild one. I love yeah, three. but I really dig the 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 old west one maybe it's the the fact that i'm old now and i'm like oh westerns i mean I, I i'm not gonna lie i always enjoyed the third one too like I, yeah. my opinion, it goes like two three and then one and so i can't judge you too much uh yeah but i would have agreed with you at one point uh i don't know where i fall now but but i love the figures and i I want more and if they especially like things like mad dog tannin like obviously they did regular biff i would love a 1985 you know old man uh biff especially like the alternate 1985 biff i mean Mm -hmm. i i would buy all these i i I feel like the fact because they're doing uh yeah they're doing biff's kid from the future or a grandkid or whatever from the 2015 oh okay yeah they teased oh yeah that's Uh, right they did it's, it's, it's Giff or something like that. What's his name? It's, he's is it's, it Griff? Griff. That's what it is. Griff. Um. Yeah, they're doing Griff. Um. They teased that with like the weird baseball bat thing, and then like some yeah. thing like a week or two ago. Um, that's right. I forgot about that. So they are doing that. And I imagine if they're gonna if they're gonna go that route, there's no way we're not gonna get like evil, clearly Donald Trump version of of him from right, the alternate right. timeline, or the old old version where he's just, like rickety and like steals the DeLorean and, and goes yes. and changes everything. So I, I, I'd buy those too. Yeah. I, I, I guarantee you we'll see those. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Biff, a variation of Biff is like the San Diego exclusive this it, year. Probably. Cause it'll probably have to be one of the ones that might not sell as well. Like, I right. feel like, I feel That's like what I'm the thinking. ones we've described, maybe old man would right. be the one that has to get made into a comic con exclusive just because at least with like in a robe, smoking a cigar with you know everything that's going on in that scene, like the amount of props they could put into that with the accessories, that that's that's easily gonna fly off shelves. I don't know if it, it okay. Go. I just thought of this: if they do alternate 1985 Biff, and you know how in the back of the cards there's like always like a a picture of like a scene from the movie, so it fits it. It's got to be the hot tub. Oh yeah, it's got it's got to be the hot tub with the city ladies. But it's, I don't it's, know if they can either, but then have Biff standing there in between. I, the, Randy, I, again, 
Again, we're doing this for you, buddy. I'll, I'll one up you. Comic Con exclusive. Okay. You get the hot tub with with the the girls and Biff. Well, you get the ladies. You get the ladies. I don't see that flying <laughs> these days. I don't. Nah, man. I don't know. People don't pay attention to toys. They don't. They don't. Uh, they don't it's care. Okay. Unless it's Mr. Potato yeah. Head and the fact that you know he's he's suddenly a genderless potato because potatoes don't have a gender. Uh, yeah that's even a whole other thing we won't even get into yeah, but that's the only time people pay attention to toys is when you when yeah. you threaten to change it slightly. or or when that one idiot mom was mad about there being breaking bad figures in toys r us and it's oh, like yeah like if your kid knows what who walter white is that's on you oh yeah like, that's, that's on you for showing your kid a meth dealer like that's not jeffrey's fault yeah don't don't blame the poor giraffe he has enough problems yeah moving yeah. on though we did get Storm Collectibles news with the recently teased Samurai Showdown Nakaru Ru, I think. Uh, the figure is now having full solicitations out. She comes with interchangeable heads, interchangeable hair, interchangeable hands, a short sword, sword effect, and a hawk with interchangeable wings and tails. She's expected to be $90 shipping third quarter. But that is not all from Storm Collectibles. They also showed a preview of the upcoming Ultra Street Fighter 4 Evil Ryu. No prices or dates, anything, just the, the one image. So, out of these, I don't think I've ever played Samurai Showdown. If I did, I don't remember. So, mm -mm. It, it looks like a cool figure. It's definitely got looks some great. great like paint apps and sculpt. So, if you're a fan mm -hmm. of Samurai Showdown, this is, this is a plus for you. Um, buy with confidence i guess uh evil ryu i'm not gonna lie it's kind of badass looking i don't collect street fighter figures just because as much as i enjoy yeah. it i just i don't have room or a wallet enough to afford 90 dollars street fighter figures right right there, there was a point where i wanted to do a marvel versus capcom display and yep. i was like hmm, maybe i'll just buy like one or two and then i'll you know pose them with like i'll either get the like Moffex, like Spider Man and Wolverines and stuff, so they're a little more dynamic, or else put them with the Mezco figures. But then I couldn't decide what Street Fighter characters to get, so I just dropped the entire idea. <laughs> yeah, probably saved you oh, uh, yeah. a couple grand in the long run. So, oh, oh he's taking a drink too. We gotta synchronize that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, again, if you're a, a samurai showdown or a storm or not storm collectibles a street fighter fan huge things coming as always storm collectibles is going to do a crazy insane job on it so it's gonna be a great figure yep. um, but we're not going to spend too much time on that we are going to keep moving and we're going to move to what seems to be a regular occurrence anymore on the news with what figure is going to be made look awful and that is coming from moose toys which never heard of this company so kind of not shocked but they showed off their space jam and new legacy figures we're getting two lebron james figures bugs bunny and marvin the Mar uh, martian no dates or pre-orders yet my god they did lebron so dirty <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what it is about sometimes these movie figures that come out especially for the kids movies they're, they're the, the most bizarre companies uh, I remember, I don't even know the name of the company, but do you remember the movie Warriors of Virtue? Uh, it was like clear. martial art king, kangaroo people. It was really cool. It's a really cool looking movie. And they had like a ton. It was an action figure line. I swear there was like 12 to 18 figures in the the, the initial line. Wow. And like four of them were uh, like, or five of them were the kangaroo people. And then there was like a bald little guy and then like a taller bald fat guy and a couple of girls in like gowns that didn't move at all mm -hmm. like it wasn't a gr well thought out line but there's just another one of these companies that pop up out of nowhere make these movie figures and then because they're so terrible they don't sell and then the company goes under yeah like i, I i'm sure especially with something as big as space jam i'm shocked it didn't go to a company like hasbro or mattel yeah I guess they just didn't see the viability because you know they went to those companies first. Oh yeah, and they were just like, "Nah, we're good." We yeah, got that's Transformers. That's it. Maybe Mattel and Hasbro wanted too much of the cut, and they were like, mm, "Could we, be too." We don't know if this is going to be a, a, a big seller, so we'll, we'll we'll go shop around and get back to you. And then this is where they landed. Right. Um, yeah, LeBron just looks so bad. 
I, I, it just it doesn't even make sense. I know when no. I was talking to Jamar about it, he was his biggest complaint was the fact that the LeBron James with the All Stars jersey it doesn't say NBA on it. I'm like, well, one, assuming that the movie doesn't pay for the NBA rights, because why would they spend right. a million dollars on that if just for this movie? And two, even if the movie did have the rights, the toy company would have to pay for those rights too. And this no name company that we've never heard of is definitely not gonna be able to afford to pay yeah. NBA rights for those logos. Yeah. Um but between that and just his face, he like doesn't even look like a person. Like he just looks like <laughs> like plain paint with a hair and some eyes painted on. Like it's yeah. It's it's real rough. And he's got them like he's, he clearly skipped leg day because got some paper twig legs there yeah i mean at least bugs and martian manhunter or martian manhunter the uh, marvin the martian look good like i mean as good as you would expect for based off lebron mm-hmm. uh, which those aren't very hard to do like i feel like if you mess no up they're cartoon cartoons characters, i mean then that's that's a yeah. bad sign um this just makes me think of back in the 90s with the first space jam Yep. figures we got with that because i had all of those growing up as a kid i had all the the monsters i had all of the individual looney tunes and each one came with a different version of michael jordan and yeah even, even almost 30 years ago they did a better job than this and he didn't even, he didn't move his arms moved up and down a little bit so you could like pose him but his legs were just stationary yep do you, uh, this is way not quite a, as off topic but did, were you did you get any of the shaquille o'neal action figures that were out around that same time i i, I didn't get them because i wasn't in a sports ball but i was in the space okay. jam so i got okay. those that, I, I get I, it i know i think my my dad had gotten the like actual nba figures so i think he got the the shack one um so because i remember seeing it so I don't remember if I just remember seeing it at the store or if I remember yeah. like it being like on a shelf or on the wall or something. They were weird because he was pretty much stuck in certain poses, mm-hmm. but like the backboards would do stuff. It it was bizarre. Yeah, it was it was very odd choices back in the 90s. But clearly that time doesn't mean anything because odd choices here in the 2020s, too. Mm-mm. Uh, moving on, though, we are getting... A very interesting piece of news with this one. So Blitzways Toys is giving us a figure we never really knew we needed, and that's both a 112 scale and a 16 scale deluxe Where's Wally or Waldo for us old folk. Um, Waldo, is he Wally now? Yeah, it's called Where's Wally. Apparently, he's 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 too hip. He can't uh, go by his full name. He's got to have a nickname. Uh, oh yeah i didn't realize that until i was i, was, I didn't either i pulled up the pre-order page because i'm like i yeah. kind of need this and it says where's wally and i'm like well shit um okay so waldo Learn something every day yeah right uh waldo comes with tons of accessories like more than i can list here but he comes with like a backpack snorkel shovel cup his cane a dog uh, even a where's waldo book like tons of accessories more than i think i've seen any other figure come with to be honest and he's currently available on Big Bad Toy Store for pre-order. It's $99.99 for the 112 scale shipping in October and $189.99 for the 16 scale shipping in November. Um, I can I see the, your eyes widen of just like, damn, like that's a lot for Where's Waldo? Um, I agree. I, I I still haven't clicked the the add to cart but, uh, button yet because I'm just like, damn, like it's, so, it's such a cool figure. And like I kind of feel like that has one of those deposits on it because I did the uh, Mezco date. It was a hundred bucks, and it was uh, a ten dollar deposit. I don't think it had it. I don't have to double check. I think it was just straight up like a normal pre order. I think it just those they only do on things that are like super popular because they know people are gonna hit the pre order button and then end up not paying in six months when it comes Mm -hmm. out. So they they're like, we're gonna get money off you now, kind of. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I didn't know his name had changed to Wally. Uh, I I will say it, that's really the only thing that's changed because beyond that, he still has the same sweater. He looks the same. He's got the scarf, the hat, the glasses. Like, everything else looks like it did when I was a kid. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I kind of want this, but I don't know if I want to drop $100 on it. 
That's a tough one. That's a tough call. I I, I will say the fact that he comes from a Where's Waldo book, though, it, it's definitely it's getting my finger a little itchy to click that uh, add to cart button. I mean, this is I think this is awesome. Uh, I love that it exists. It's definitely not for me, mm-hmm. but I love it. I think it's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. I, I, the biggest thing is I want to see it in person because I just want to see how it turns out. And I feel like the only way I'm going to do that is if I end up paying the hundred dollars for it. Because <laughs> I don't know anyone else who's going to be as crazy to spend hundred dollars on Where's Waldo figure. For yeah, me. like let me just play with it for a minute. The guy who pays one hundred and eighty nine ninety nine for the Where's Waldo. Oh yeah, the, the one six scale one. I feel like uh, that's a hard sell in general. Like who needs a one six scale Where's Waldo to begin with? I mean, who needs a one twelve scale Where's, where's Waldo? Um. But, I mean, at that point, do you just hide him in all your action figure oh, displays? Oh, that's 100% my plan. If I, if, I, if I get him, it's going to be okay. – he's going to hide randomly on the shelf behind me during the show. And then it, I'll probably even, like, occasionally during the reviews at the end when I have the pictures show up of all the figure photography, I'll just have him, like, hide in the background somewhere. And you, it's just like, oh, there he is. So, like, I, I feel I, like that's worth 100 bucks, Right? Like, I, I've, I've already entertained myself so much with just the thought of owning right. this figure that I, I'm so close to clicking the All right. button. All so. right. Uh, I'm sold on you getting it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that I sold you on me getting it. <laughs> yeah. Still not for me. I, I can't blame you at all on that one. Yeah. Uh, I, I do have something that may be for you, though. And that is our mm. next piece of news from SH Monster Arts. They have finally revealed... The 1989 Godzilla vs. Biollante Godzilla, and my wallet is weak. No pre-orders yet, but he is expected to be around $78 shipping this August. And oh man, I I thought I was done with just the NECA like Godzilla's mm-hmm. I got, but then I saw this and like mm, I might need it. I might need it. Yeah, I I'm with you on that. Like I, the 89 Godzilla is probably one of my favorite looks. Maybe. Maybe with the exception of like uh, the Godzilla versus Mothra from like ninety four, mm-hmm. um, that one's really good too. But I only have one other Monster Arts figure, and it's actually from that particular Godzilla movie, the Godzilla versus Mothra. So I feel like I kind of have to get this one yeah. too. So I did not get the Biollante though when that came out. That's because uh, they boring. just re-released yeah. it. Yeah, because that was a bit pricey. Yeah, that was almost two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. That was before aftermarket yep. when it sold out. So like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, that was that was retail. Yeah, so I'm like, mm, didn't need that, but I do need this. Mm-hmm. Like, this is this is yep. my hundred percent favorite like version of Godzilla. Yeah. So I'll, I I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure I'm gonna be pulling the trigger on this one once the pre-orders go up. Um, it's just yep. a matter of if and when kind of deal. It will open that uh, floodgate, though, to be like, hmm, NECA never gave me a Mecha Godzilla. Maybe I should hunt down one of the SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzillas. Yeah, I really hope we get to see what Super 7 has planned here pretty soon. I want to see what the presentation is going to be on their Ultimates. Because uh, I feel like they're going to start out definitely with the Showa era, because that's mm-hmm. going to be more what Brian Flynn's into. But I, I'm all down for that, too. Uh, but I definitely hope that they're you know mm, looking good yeah i hope that there's it's a nice middle ground between NECA and what we're getting from monster arts like i hope we get good articulation yeah. but i really want to focus on the detailing and stuff because yeah realistically my godzilla figures they don't really get posed much and it's not just because they're NECA figures and they're hard to pose um, yeah not unless it's the smog monster one and he's gonna do the jump yeah but that's it I mean, don't get me wrong. If you give me some postable stands, I'll have Godzilla throwing motherfuckers by their tail all day. There you but, go. There you go. <laughs> but that that's, that's that's a very like big maybe on if if they go that route kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like. All right, you've talked me into this. You're welcome. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't talk you in the Waldo, but I got you on Godzilla. Yeah, like that. Was, yeah, yeah. Boy, <laughs> selling me on a Godzilla figure. It's rough. Yeah, man. It's hard to do. I'm salesman of the year with that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Closing everything out, though, Mezco started off with a really weak, slow, like, teaser image that led into pre-orders of the Popeye Five Points Deluxe box that includes Popeye, Bluto, Olive Oil, 
and Rough House, and they come with a cafe playset. It's it's a cool set. It's it's fifty five dollars on Mezco dot com. Shipping in between October and August. Um, however, they quickly restarted the hype train with the tease of a bunch of emojis of a bat, a lightning bolt, and a rocket ship, which ended up being pre-orders for the Zack Snyder's Justice League, Black Soup Superman, Flash, and Batman 3-pack. Each come with display stands, multiple heads, and hands. Flash gets his lightning effects, Batman gets some of his bat gadgets, and Superman gets laser eyes and an activated mother box. The three pack is available on Mezco.com for $260, shipping between January and March of 2022. Oh boy, did I lose my shit when I saw this. I bet. I bet. Uh, I, I, I like the funny thing is you you messaged me about this seconds before I was like I had just pre-ordered it and I was about to send you the link when you sent it to me. And now knowing that you haven't even seen the movie, I'm just like, oh man, I I figured he wouldn't be nearly this hype then. Like, yeah, I pre-ordered it. I totally succumbed to the peer pressure, um, and the peer pressure was from me because <laughs> I was like, well, if it's in this three pack, I just don't know if they're going to release this this Ben Affleck Batman, uh, you know, by itself. And I was like, all right, fine, I'm, I'm going to get it because I, you know, I ordered it through Big Bad Toy Story. I put twenty six dollars down. And uh, future me has to worry about it, and that's a year from now. So, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Plus, I'll, I'll regret not getting it. I think. I think you yeah. know. I already regret not having Aquaman and Wonder Woman, but you know, I'll I'll make do, and we'll see what happens. But I feel like those are now going to go up. So, uh, so spoilers. I may have FOMO ordered both of those. Yeah, I do not second. blame you. Um, so you I do can, not blame you. Both are still available on Big Bad for eighty dollars each. However, Wonder Woman's still available on Amazon for eighty dollars with Prime. So I, I may have mm. split up my order because I'm like, why would I pay for shipping for one or for for two when I can pay for shipping for only one of them? Um, I, I I feel I feel like I, I feel like that's that's solid solid advice. Yeah. So just, we'll you, you may want to consider that because one hundred percent. Which is funny because again, I have not seen the movie. i but. I do want great representations of the Justice League. This is a historic moment. It's the first Justice League movie. Uh, I do feel I'll I'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I still am going to buy the toys anyway. I do it all the time. I buy toys for movies. I got all the Dune figures. The movie doesn't come out <laughs> till October. You're not wrong there. Um, I mean, that's yeah, a situation. Whatever. Where those won't be on the shelf in October, though. So you kind of have to. That's part of the reason why I did that. I, I love that guy's movies. I'm not even going to try to say his name. Um, but I love Blade Runner 2049. I love the arrival. Um, so him handling Dune, I was like, I, I feel pretty good about this. That it's a wise investment. It was only four fig- uh, five with that big guy. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Because I. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, I don't blame you at all for that one because yeah, that, that's definitely one of those should get off the pot things because with movies yep. getting delayed due to everything last year, it's, it's you, you can't risk on the movie being bad if you because if it ends up being good you're paid double or more on eBay yeah. trying to find those figures so yep it's definitely not a bad idea just like it's definitely not a bad idea to get wonder woman aquaman because come next january and march those are going to probably triple in price yep. because even the uh tactical batman that they had already done for the justice league the original version right that literally days after the snyder cut happened sold out on big bad toy store Actually, probably less than days. I think, like, I literally checked the next day and it was gone. Um, and now he's he's almost tripled in price. He's two hundred fifty dollars. He's as much as this three pack is for just yeah. that one figure. So, yeah, which is what I didn't want to happen. So yeah, yeah that that's a hundred percent. Like that, that I saw that and like, fuck, I I need Wonder Woman and Aquaman. I mean, obviously, we still need Cyborg. He's he's clearly missing from the set. But I need these two because I at least need to have the core five. If they don't make Cy- Cyborg, I'll be sad, but I'll just have to like hide the Mark Mafarlo one in the background because clearly it's not going to mm-hmm. hold up to the quality of Mezco, but it'll right. at least uh, be there. Uh, I have seen some people point out some things, though, uh, mainly just with the Flash, and that is the fact that with you know them primarily being a soft goods company, he has like exposed knee joints. Yeah. Which I thought I, was interesting. Yeah, I'm like, okay. I mean, it doesn't bother me because, I mean, most of his costume is armor. And you can clearly tell that, like, I think in the shoulders and in, like, 
the like thighs and crotch area that he does have soft goods there it's just i'm just like that's a very interesting choice to just be like fuck it we're just gonna go straight full articulated knees um but mm-hmm. i guess maybe it's a situation where to get him in those poses like for running and stuff could be because i will say some yeah. of the soft good stuff does get restrictive so right it'd be better to, to just suck it up and, and deal with it um but yeah so i'm super excited for that the popeye sets i think the coolest thing about the popeye set is the cafe play set because mm-hmm. the fact that you like it looks like it might be cardboard but like it's full like you can put them inside it there's the little like counter and then you can flip it around and it's just like a back alley for bluto and popeye to fight in so um i just again think this popeye stuff is weird but I, I, yeah, it's I awesome but i don't know who's my grandmother that. who died at 70 years old 30 years ago was 10 years old when these cartoons came out so i'm just just put the math together it's very strange yeah, but I mean, if you're into it, that's awesome. I love it. Keep it alive. I just who who'd have thought? All I'm saying is if if it takes keeping a hundred year old cartoon alive to give me gargoyles action figures, then so be it. Yeah, then keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So that is the end of the news. However, we still have Turtle Watch 2021. Hey, that's that's a lot more excitement than uh than Jamar gave me last week, so I'll take it. Um, <laughs> I, got, I don't have any ninja weapons to. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I got two solid weeks out of Jamar where he was, you know, giving me some good reactions, and then he just the tank was empty at that point. Pooped out on you. Yeah, I, I can't blame him. It's, it's it's hard to keep up this level of energy. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so, not a lot of news this week with the turtle lines, but Neca did tease. The TMNT2 Secret of the Ooze Shredder. Uh, and then we actually got a video of the head sculpt getting painted on Instagram, which was really cool. And I'm super excited to see the full figure because the, the face and everything, the fact that they're doing a full new mold and like adding the scars and stuff makes me really excited. Um, we did also get an update on pre-orders via an email that probably everyone gets every week at this point. Uh, there have been some delays the Slash and Leatherhead pre-orders are going to be moved to April of this year. The TMNT 1990s movie accessory set finally gets a, a ship date of April. The cartoon diorama also finally gets a ship date of April. And then the Triceraton, Roadkill Rodney pack, and the Rat King and Vernon pack are both April as well. And then you've got the Rocksteady and Bebop 2 pack, which is just listed as quarter two. Um, I, I feel like the people who pre-ordered Rockstar and Bebop are just losing their minds right now because I feel like that one mm-hmm. is the one that keeps getting pushed back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's bizarre. That one's weird. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm just excited that the the accessory pack and the diorama finally have a ship date because I've just been. I'm like, you already took my money, and I'm just been patiently waiting, and I'm trying not to be that mm-hmm. person who's like, "Where's my toys?" But I'm like, right. "Where's my fucking toys, man?" Yeah. Yeah, especially because I just I, I, I don't have it for today's, you know, this week's show and tell. But last week uh, or maybe no, it was a couple weeks ago, but I got a new set of the uh, four turtles. Um, shout out to uh, Big Craig for getting those for me because I did not want to try to remove any heads from the original San Diego set with the, with the accessory pack heads. Mm-hmm. So I got all new ones from uh, the, from the Walmart two packs. Well, well, shout out to, to Big Craig. And if he happens to come off or come across two more of those two packs hook a brother up because uh you need two more too huh yeah papa doesn't want to risk ripping off the heads of the the og ones (laughs) you got og ones all right we're on the case yeah we're both at it now didn't know you needed them or we would have probably had them already for you i appreciate it i i I didn't think about it at the time yeah because i i guess i completely had lost hope of getting them just because even with the mass restocks i'm like neither of my targets carry any of the collectible shit so fuck me um and it just it was one of those moments where i was just like i just gave up hope and didn't think to ask anybody <laughs> like, okay well now know we know my buddy cody asked me about the super shredder and i was like i eh, don't really need it it's cool but it's not like a, a must-have and then i remember mentioning it to him that i didn't need the two packs but he couldn't find any so yeah so if you guys happen to see him hook me up because uh i'm definitely definitely have a mighty need um, okay 
yeah, so that, that's that's it for Turtle Watch. Nothing too crazy. We just got you know a really cool super. I'm excited about the Super Shredder though. I just like anything, like everybody. Anytime NECA announces a new turtle figure, you get a little bit of that turtle anxiety. Mm-hmm. You're just like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. Yeah. I've gotten all of them. I've I've never not found them, whether through friends or you know myself or whatever or pre-orders and pre-sales. Um, so I don't know why I think that suddenly I'm just not going to be able to, but I panic every time. I, I think my biggest panic for it is primarily that, for the most part, aside from the Super Shredder pre-orders through NECA.com or NECAstore.com, wherever they go by, mm-hmm. um, everything else I've had to get through other people. Yeah. Like the the two-pack with uh, the trench coat, Raph, and Casey, I had to go through Jamar. Um, I did end up, like, I, I went down the, the mountain a little bit to a Walmart, and I happened to found, find them, but at that point, I'd already gotten mine, so it didn't matter. Yeah. Um, uh, I didn't really care about the the Foot Soldier 2-packs or the Shredder and Splinter 2-pack, um, so I didn't really bother getting trying to get those. Uh, but everything else I got from the movie was always from the GameStop release. So mm-hmm. it, was, it was pretty much a simple pre-order. It shows up, I'm done. It was never right. a challenge. Um so it, it, in, in the target releases, I, I almost never have any issues with. So yeah, those, those don't really bother me anymore, but yeah, the, the movie releases, I, I get that. Yeah. That pit of my stomach feeling of like, mm-hmm. Oh God, here we go again. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like the shredder more just because I like the purple more than I do the red. Yeah. It, it's a cool look and I like the more jagged helmet mm-hmm. and yeah, I think it'll be cool. I mean, I, I love the, the original one more, but yeah, I definitely want another one. Yeah. Absolutely. It's definitely great, and I feel like this is perfect because now you can pose this one with your Toka and Raza because, mm-hmm. I mean, let's let's be honest, the other Shredder doesn't really fit because he's not the same at all. Like, different color right. scheme, he's got a different helmet, he's got the scarred face. So, like, you can, you, can, you can fudge it, but it's still not the same. Right, and the Super Shredder doesn't really make sense. It's just yeah. a movie display at that point. Yeah, so... It's definitely a nice addition, and it makes sense. It was it was the logical next step because there's only so yeah. many characters they can do from these movies, and right. they also need to you know reuse some parts at least to to make some money. Yeah, and it gets Shredder back out there. Yeah. So I mean, it's a character. It's like an evergreen character that should be always out there, just yeah. like the turtles. I 100 percent agree. Um, oh, I did. Uh, this is what happens when I don't scroll all the way down on my show sheet. Um, the movie packs for the Foot Soldier two pack and the Splinter and Shredder two pack are just slated for late summer. So. Okay. If you pre order those, you still got a while to wait and you'll probably end up being fall by the time you actually get them. So yeah. keep an eye out for those. Uh, that is it for Turtle Watch, though. And now it's time for what would normally be Jamar's favorite segment, but he's not here. And Nate's just going to demolish mine. And that is for weekly purchases. <laughs> so I'm going to go for first because I, I have some good ones, but for the most part, I, I only got a handful. And I imagine you've got a lot to unpack. So. Um, I'm going to start, I, I completely forgot I pre-ordered this and then I kind of questioned why I pre-ordered this and I'm still questioning why I pre-ordered this and like on the fence about it, but I got my SH figure arts Bardock mm. and like, it's really cool, but I'm just like the movies he was in were okay. And like, do I really need a Bardock? Like the piece of history though. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a cool piece and it's definitely a great figure. I'm just in my head, I'm like, man, what, where was I when, when that got pre-ordered? Because I don't remember it. <laughs> um, then I was actually, I was at Target. I wasn't even looking for anything at Target. I, I was there picking up some, like, supplies for dinner. And I was just like, I'll go in the toy aisle and just get disappointed. It's, it's not Target unless I do that. And, of course, the one time I am not actively looking for something is when I find something. And finally they got in the Gundam universe um, Tall Geese. Gundam. oh cool yeah so i finally got this big bad boy to put with my uh Gundam oh figures. that looks incredible yeah they did a fantastic job he, he's he's nice and beefy so i'm super happy yeah i know i didn't even know that i don't even know if i knew that was coming yeah he's in the same set like realistically i could have gotten him off amazon at any point in time because he's in the same set as the burning gundam that mm-hmm. uh, i talked about back on the top 10 uh special we did and I just was like, I, I'm already getting that one for Christmas. I was waiting to find this one in store. I usually find them. It's just a matter of time. And I found them. And I'm like, well, should I guess now I'll spend that time? $25? <laughs> yeah, no, that looks great. Uh, then I, if you've been watching religiously, you would know I got the Mezco Hellboy figure. 
a few weeks back. Uh, it's the PX version. It has, like, all the extra stuff. But the movie was really, really bad, so I'm like, I don't really... I don't really want to have that representation, so I was trying to figure out a good way to, like, swap the head out and just get, like, a more, like, comic book style. And I found someone on eBay who makes heads. So I've got a Longhorned and a... It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get closer if that makes a difference. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so they're they're pretty cool. They're, like, a nice middle ground between, like, them being straight comic book heads and still being, like, mildly realistic. So I'm like, perfect. That'll fit in with the rest of my, like, Mezco stuff. So yep. got those. I'm going to send them down to a guy in Phoenix here in a week or two to get painted. And then the last two things I got, I finally got the remaining parts to finish a couple customs I was working on. So I've got my Mezco custom Nightwing. Nice. So I finally got that, especially since, you know, it's a 50-50 shot if Mez will ever actually give us a Nightwing. Right. And then I finished my upgraded version of the flashpoint batman nice so super excited to finally have those done that is all i got so it's time for uh, you to rock our world let's see what you okay so i'll start out uh super small here um so just to today from pulse i got the last of the uh, new marvel legends wave that i needed oh, which was nice. moira um couldn't find her in stores the other ones i was able to grab in stores but i still had the pre-order uh, for her there so i got that and i will be able to build my tri sentinel and then just the other day these bad boys and ladies arrived so right. these are the super seven uh masters of the universe classics ultimate so this was the first oh. thing that super seven put out uh for masters uh in their regular you know line they did uh ultimate versions of he-man skeletor faker ram man and tila and i had the other three I didn't have these, so I finally have these. I actually got these from Kokomo Toys through their eBay store. Um, they were really expensive. I bet, but yeah. The government gave me money, and I wanted to stimulate <laughs> myself. Stimu- stimulate I wanted to lock it. I wanted to stimulate my Masters of the Universe Classics uh, stimulation point, I guess. I, I don't know. But that's what I spent some of that on. Not not all of it. They weren't that expensive. Um, but that's, that's good. They, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, then and through Amazon, I was I told myself I was not going to buy these. I was not. And then uh, I bought the Optimus Primal. And then mm-hmm. I ordered this on Amazon. And uh, it said it was coming like in April. And then it showed up like two days ago. So I was like, oh, OK. I mean, April's around the corner, but we're not there yet. Yeah. It's okay. um, and then. Me. So here's the really sad thing. This is all this week. Oh. Damn. This is not. This isn't even in like kayfabe and trying to like be like this is like the past like months worth of stuff all in one show. Nope. nope. Uh, this this one is a slight cheat though because this one I did get uh, I think two weeks ago. But I've never had any of the Mondo collectibles yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't get any of the Turtles that they did or the Batman the animated series. But uh, for my wife and I both, Ooh. I got the Rick and Morty, uh, and I got the exclusive version. Oh, those are so cool. Yeah, I mean, the multiple heads and all the different accessories. I haven't opened it yet because we don't quite have all our display stuff up yet for uh, for our stuff together that we like that we would both like. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if it's going to get opened yet, but it was that was cool to get. But one more thing to show. Several things, but I thought, well, hey, I got a box in from Big Bad Toy Store, and I thought I would wait until the show to open it oh yeah so uh it's a big box i don't remember what i ordered that was so big but I uh, it was accumulated like a bunch of stuff like you did a pile of loot oh i did i did um but uh yeah so let me sorry megatron thwarted by a big bad toy store box optimus oh, prime it's probably not even the saddest way he's gone out Nope. All right. Somebody at home was like, I couldn't open the box beforehand. But I was keeping it real. There was like, man, couldn't even just at least remove the tape. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, perfect. Because this actually uh, goes back in with uh, stuff that you guys talked about. So I'll have to open these later. But this is a bag 
of 10 random uh, Friday the 13th mask pins. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So, I, because I, I, they said they're like, well, they're random, and but you get 10, and there's 10 in it, like a set. But they're like, you're not guaranteed a set. And I kind of wondered why, but now that I see that it's like these Gashapon mm-hmm. bubbles or whatever they call them, now I see why. So, okay. That was a weird purchase of mine. Sometimes I forget what I order. And uh, so, and then the next thing is I have a vintage collection uh, Grief Karga. All right. Actually, I have two. One is for a friend. Okay. Yeah. So I say, you clearly can't be scalping it because he's definitely not a, a no a big character no. that's worth a bunch of money. <laughs> no, uh, but it is relatively new. Mm. So, um, oh, forgot about this. This is the Super Seven. This Ooh. is the second Voltron Ultimate they did. I ended up canceling my pre order for the first one when this one got announced because this one was more accurate. So let's take a look. So much plastic. You can hear our planet weeping. Okay. So very flashy, yeah, very foily. Hot oh, damn. Ooh. Ooh. So shiny. That's that's pretty fancy. Ooh. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's kind of got that. I think this one is supposed to have a more representative paint of like the old matchbox toy. Okay. So not gonna lie, if that's any indication, I kind of excited for them to do like the Megazord now from the Power Rangers. Yep, I'll probably end up like I hope they do a lot of the Megazords because I'll probably end up getting all the ones they do. I don't, I won't get any of the figures, but I'll, I'll get the Zords. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, the so the are next are done for for me too because I'm getting the Mezco ones now. <laughs> yeah. Um. So okay, the rest of these are going to be Masters of the Universe Origins. So these are a chance for you to a- ask some questions. Oh. So I got Ram Man. Okay, and he's this is, this is one of the deluxe ones. Okay. So he comes with an extra head, which is cool, and acts as like he always did in an extra hand. So all right, good. I think we talked about that like a month or two ago. Yeah. On the show. Yeah, actually, a couple of the the rest of these you actually guys you you did. It was probably so, us fumbling through it and then making fun of the names yes, and for like yes. five minutes and then moving on to the next segment. <laughs> It's exactly what it was. You should have heard me. Because I remember Jamar even saying, he's like, if Nate's listening, he's freaking out. And I was like, answering all the things. But we have Ninjor. Yes, Ninjor. So, how nuts was the 80s that in the realm of fantasy He-Man world, there was still a ninja? Right? And I and I assume we were right about A the ninja. Name, with him being a ninja warrior, so he was Ninjor, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, when I was getting, when I got all those Masters of the Universe classics, uh, at the end of the year last year and I would like go through them. I would just kind of hold them up. I tell my wife, I'd be like, well, just add like, or Jor or man onto whatever he is. Mm -hmm. And I would just have her guess. And she came very close on most of them. (laughs) So then we've got Triclops. All right. Stratos, the winged warrior. Oh, both Triclops and Stratos were very early characters. No, that's before they you uh, and, know, just had to keep scraping by, making up names, adding the or or man. Yeah, yeah, or you know, uh, you know, putting ninjas again. Yeah, ninjas. And then my absolute favorite, Hordak. <laughs> Which that, that that name doesn't even begin to make sense, but Hordak. I, th- I can't remember what you guys called him. We Hordak, called him Hordick. Hordick. Yeah, you guys Hordick. did call him Hordick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, but this is my absolute favorite Masters of the Universe character, is Hordak. He is the head of the evil Horde. And also, um, when he, they put him in the cartoon, he was actually she main enemy. Oh. But he was part of the Masters of the Universe line. Okay. So him and the Horde were always part of the Masters line. And then just the female characters were part of the She-Ra, but he was the bad guy in the cartoon. Okay. Yeah, but I I almost don't want to open this because it's a super nice, unpunched Hordak. Oh, yeah, damn. But I'm I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to. I have the Super 7 uh, cartoon versions mm-hmm. still on card because I actually like those cards a little bit nicer so or a little bit better. 
so I'll be okay. That's and that's it. That's that. Wow. That was it. Right. That was yeah. That was just this week. But I do have two things sitting here that I'm going to show just because just because they're sitting here. I got these when I was first uh, laid up. But uh, so obviously the end of WandaVision sparked some speculation on on stuff or or whatever. And uh, it came to my attention that there was already a white vision figure. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea. Like I, I kind of pride myself on the Marvel legends that I have. And I thought I had, or at least aware of everything. I had no idea this pack existed. So I had to have it and I couldn't find it. And then somebody mislabeled it and bam, I got it for a steal. Nice. So yeah, I was trying to think of all the different ways that I could, uh, try to like find it and i was like what if what if somebody left out some major parts of information and boom found it by it now grabbed it uh so and then just because i could um i sold a, a i sold a ton of out of print blu-rays over this last couple of months and just i mean honestly made a ton of money um i, I just was like i don't need these anymore and then i saw what they were going for so with some of that i bought myself the I'm not sure what year San Diego exclusive oh, yeah, I that. raft set. Yeah. Um, some of ago. these have done. Yeah. Some of these have already been done as build a figures um, like abomination and Sandman, but it does have the purple man. Um, it does. The enchantress has already come out, um, but the dread Knight is it dread Knight? Yeah. Dread Knight is new. I just thought it was cool. And when you sell stuff on eBay, it's not real money exactly when you spend it so <laughs> i dig it and man. then that's it yeah you, you definitely didn't disappoint i do have one question i want to know are mm-hmm. you going to open the super seven he-man figures because those look pretty sexy on card uh the no okay no i i don't i bought them specifically to leave on card because uh, i was really torn initially on whether or not to leave the origins because i do love the classic card back mm-hmm. Um, but I thought, nah, I, I really like the idea of these because I can't display, I still have my vintage figures, but they don't display well because of the rubber bands. Mm-hmm. Uh, and rather than replace all those and then worry about, it, I thought, well, this will be a nice stand in for my vintage. And then I'll get those super seven ones as like nice carded examples. And plus they look different than the figures that I had and they'll look different from these. So yeah. And plus I also think they're way better quality, the oh. card backs and stuff. Yeah, because you, you pulled those first two out, and I'm like, damn, those that's going to be a shame if he opens those, because those are real nice. Looking. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, you mean, oh, you mean these. Yeah, I'm talking about the first two you showed, the Tila and. Yes, oh, yeah. I will open oh. these, because the other ones are opened. Yes, I was talking about the Super 7 Filmation 5.5. Oh no, yeah, you already yeah, told the, me that you weren't opening those. I was talking about these. Yeah, 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 no, these are these will be opened. I opened my He-Man, Skeletor, and Faker, so yeah, these are going to be opened. Oh, All my other Masters classics are open, so can't blame you then. I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm clearly an open box guy. It's just one of those things. Yeah. Every now and then, you see something on card, and you're like, mm, damn, that looks sexy. Yeah, those flying red rocks are a huge part of my childhood, and so like it. It does get you right in the nostalgia feels there. And so it's tough. It was tough opening like the He-Man Skeletor. It really was. Because was, these these look amazing. Those were the first two. He-Man Skeletor were the first two I ever got. So, yeah. I, I feel it. I, I can't blame you at all. But yeah. That, that's it for weekly purchases then. So hold up, future me. Before we go, I want to let everyone know about the giveaway. Once we hit 350 subscribers on YouTube, we will give away a first place prize of the NECA Ultimate Metalhead and a second place prize of the Extra Large NECA Musical Mugen Tour Merch Box Bundle, which includes Extra Large T-shirt, tote bag, souvenir ticket, backstage pass, and four guitar picks. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure to share our giveaway post on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag moderntoy for 100 You cannot share this to your fleet, cannot share it to your story, otherwise it will not be entered because it only lasts 24 hours. So make sure to go do that. Easiest way, go to Twitter, hit retweet, type the hashtag, you're done. It's our pinned tweet, real simple. So make sure to do that, make sure to subscribe, and don't miss out because we're inching closer and closer every day. That, that is also it for this week's Modern Toy Fair news. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Jamar's not here, but as always, I will plug his lovely show, Why Are You a Gamer? So that way I don't get nagged at in a couple weeks when he comes mm-hmm. back. 
It is a show where he goes and he asks the important question in the gaming community of, why are you a gamer? It's a fun conversation, real easy listen. I've been on it, so go listen to it, check it out. He's going to be starting up a YouTube channel here soon where he'll be able to listen to the old episodes and he's going to try to do some video interviews as well with some of the people that he gets on the show, uh, along with also posting just videos of us doing stupid shit in the different games we play. So go check him out. It's, uh, once again, Why Are You a Gamer, both on YouTube and on podcast apps. Nate, you're finally back. Do you have any updates for the Figuratively Speaking podcast for us? Yeah, we're all talking, so that's good. <laughs> but uh, I think at this point, I mean, I think everybody's going to be vaccinated here in the next couple of weeks. We'll probably just start our in-person recording again. So yeah, uh, I, I don't know. You, you lost that know. war. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to bring them into the to the current century and uh, built some resistance. Corey has never listened to our show because he doesn't know how podcasts work. And I'm not uh, talking about you and I's I show. I assume you're talking, I'm talking about, about the show he's on. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah, not going to lie. He's three uh, years younger than me. For, for a while there, I didn't, I didn't listen to it on a podcast app. I just went to, you guys always would post the link to your website and I just click on it and, and listen to yeah. it there. So, well, there's, there's multiple places to do it. You can, you can like, like this, you can go to YouTube, you can watch it, especially, I mean, you can look at us. It's nice. You can, ha- it's like you're hanging out with us or you can listen to it while you're driving. It's awesome. It's wonderful. Podcasts are easy to get. It's nice. He just doesn't try. Well, I feel that I, I can feel that on a personal level. Um, yeah, if 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 you haven't been watching, um, he knows we, I love him. We have a a running uh, poll that I'm trying to get people to join in on in the comments below, uh, in regards to who's going to start their podcast back up first, you or Jamar, because he has decided he's going to you know start season two of Why You a Gamer, and he keeps just kicking the can down the road. I'm like, man. Between you and, and, and Nate's podcast buddies, I'm curious to see who gets started up first. And it looks like you may be the winner of this one. And I, the funny thing I got to say is we are three different people that are looking to get together for in-person recording on the outskirts of a pandemic. Jamar is one guy. Yeah. I mean, Grant, he does and then have he to gets set a up, guest. Yeah, he does have to set up He does. Guests. He does. So I, I, I'm kind of, Jamar, I'm throwing the gauntlet down. Ooh. We're going to beat you. Oh, damn. Well, you heard it here first, kids. We, we, we got a podcast war started. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of podcasts, though, if for some reason you still want to hear my lovely voice not to talk about toys, you can catch me over at the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast where me, Jason, and Kevin shoot the shit on what's going on in the wrestling world today. It's a fun listen. Gets real ridiculous real quick. Um, so go check that out if you're into some wrestling. As always, you can support us here at Modern Toy Fair, though, by clicking the Tee Public link down below in the description. That will take you to my Tee Public store where you can get shirts with our logos on them. You can get shirts that have other things that I've made up in Photoshop. All sorts of options. You don't even have to get a shirt. You can get a mug or a phone case or a pillow. All up to you. But check it out. I greatly appreciate it. As always, please like and subscribe, but not only that, leave us a comment below about what announcements you are excited for, or we fucked something up, because I, I have a bit of a stutter and I fuck things up all the time, so call me out for it. I'll, I'll definitely uh, feel free to reply. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoy our faces, though... I also fuck things up, so... True. Uh, please let me know. Yeah, let, let us both know. Call us out. I, I'm mm-hmm. all for it. Help the algorithm. But uh, if if you enjoy our faces, hit the little bell, get notified when videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair news on Fridays and Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and sometimes an extra review on Wednesdays. If you don't enjoy staring at our beautiful faces, though, we do have an audio only version of Modern Toy Fair news available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So check that out, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching. I want to make sure that's a wave. (laughs) 